Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the exciting new features of Styler AI, including text to image, image to image, enhance tool and generative expand. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. In previous tutorials, I've covered the features of Styler in detail and created several videos about it. However, Styler is continuously being updated with new tools, so it was necessary to create another tutorial to introduce its new features. I visit the Styler website. Using the Start for Free button at the top right of the website, I create an account and log in. In the dashboard, I click on New Project. I enter a name for the new project. In the Aspect Ratio section, I set the option to 16 to 9 for this case. This is my workspace. Styler's AI allows us to turn our ideas into images by describing and typing them out, which is known as text to image. From the left menu, I click on text to image. There are pre-made styles in Styler, and by selecting them, images are generated based on that style. By clicking on the style drop-down list, I select the realistic option from the many available styles. A bit further down, there's a box where you need to type your idea as a prompt. I have a prompt prepared in advance, which I paste into the box. I'll place this prompt in the description section for you. A little further down in the advanced section, we have access to the negative prompt option. The negative prompt is used to describe what you don't want to see in the image. I click on Stylerize. The prompt enters the queue. In the new Styler update, the preview panel is located on the right, next to the layer panel. After a short while, images are generated based on the prompt, and their thumbnails are displayed. By hovering the mouse over the images, we can view them in a larger size. I review the images. In the new Styler update, by double-clicking on any thumbnail, we can add it to the workspace. If you're not satisfied with the images generated on the first try, you can click on Stylerize again, and the prompt will re-enter the queue. After a short while, images are generated based on the prompt, and their thumbnails are displayed. By hovering the mouse over the images, we can view them in a larger size. I review the images. In the image to image process, we can change the style of an image to another style. For example, converting it from a realistic look to a 3D look. Now I'll show you the image to image process in Styler AI. We have an image in the workspace. From the left menu, I click on image to image. Then I click on the no style option to choose a preferred style from the list. I recommend you try and experience all these styles. Among the available styles, I select flamenco dance. In the text box, you can enter a new prompt, which can affect the final output. Additionally, by clicking on the auto prompt option, Styler's AI analyzes the image and provides a textual prompt based on this analysis. The style intensity parameter adjusts how strongly the chosen style is presented in the result. The structure match parameter adjusts how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of content structure. The face match parameter preserves face identity, which is applicable for a single face only. After making the settings, I click on Stylerize. The prompt enters the queue, and after a short while, the image-to-image -image results are displayed as thumbnails. By hovering the mouse over the thumbnails, the images are displayed in a larger size. I review the new images. By double-clicking, we can add the desired image to the workspace. I click on the Layers tab. This is similar to the Layers panel in Photoshop. Using the eye icon on each layer, we can toggle the layer on and off, allowing for image comparisons. Using the Trash icon, we can delete layers. To save images, I select the desired layer and click on Export from the top right menu. By clicking on the File Type drop-down list, I can choose between JPEG and PNG options. I click on Download. The image is then saved in JPEG format on my computer's hard drive. I turn off the upper layer and select the lower layer. I click on Export. In the File Type section, JPEG is already selected. I click on Download.
Sometimes the canvas you're working with just isn't the right size. You need space to add text or want to transform a landscape into a portrait. With the Generative Expand, powered by Styler, you can seamlessly resize your image to fit any need. Extending an image is easy with Generative Expand in Styler AI. Just click and drag beyond the borders of your image to create a bigger background, increase your aspect ratio, and more. This powerful tool uses AI to seamlessly expand your photos, adding realistic details and matching the style of your original image. I select the desired layer in the Layers panel. From the left menu, I click on Generative Expand. The workspace changes, and handles appear around the image. These handles are shaped like arrows pointing up, down, left, and right. By clicking and dragging these arrows, we can expand the canvas in the direction we need. I will demonstrate this to you practically. This action creates an empty space around the image. The Generative Expand tool uses AI to seamlessly expand these areas, adding realistic details and matching the style of your original image. I click on the Stylerize button. The prompt enters the queue, and after a short while, thumbnails are displayed to me. By hovering the mouse over the thumbnails, I can view the results of the Generative Expand in a larger size and browse through them. By double-clicking on the image I am satisfied with, it is added to the workspace. I click on the Layers tab. In the Layers panel, by toggling the eye icon of the new layer on and off, I compare it with the previous images. The Enhance feature is an amazing and magical tool in Styler. This tool has recently been added to Styler, and in this section, I intend to cover it. Styler's AI Photo Enhancer is a powerful tool that brings your photos to life with just one click. It automatically sharpens blurry images, increases resolution, and reveals hidden details all in seconds. No need to deal with complicated editing software. Styler works its magic on portraits, landscapes, and any aspect ratio, fixing noise, blur, and low contrast while preserving the natural look of your photos. See the difference for yourself. Styler enhances your images in real time, giving you stunning results. Take your photos to the next level. Try Styler's AI Photo Enhancer today. In the Layers panel, I select the desired layer. From the left menu, I click on the Enhance option. A new window opens. In this window, the Strength slider can be adjusted from low to high. This slider is used to adjust the quality and detail strength of the enhanced image. I slightly increase the slider value and click on the Enhance button. The Enhance process begins. After a short while, a new image is delivered to me with reduced blur, increased resolution, revealed hidden details, reduced noise, and improved contrast. The image is incredibly enhanced. This is the amazing power of Styler's artificial intelligence. In this mode, a slider is also displayed that allows you to drag it to see and compare the before and after images. I review the image. At the bottom of the image, there is a download button, which I click on. With the Place on Canvas button, the image is placed within the workspace. In the Layers panel, by clicking on the eye icon, you can toggle layers on and off to compare the images. This is just the beginning of Styler's new features. In this tutorial, we've only scratched the surface of what's possible. Stay tuned for more in-depth explorations. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Got AI questions? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. We have a lot more AI tutorials coming up, so subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. The future is AI. Embrace it. See you in the next video.